Next we can see about the Bimax. Bimax is a standard specially designed for the metropolitan area connection. So metropolitan area connection means large area connection. It can reach up to 70 km in range. That is very high range. And it is supposed to replace the cable or digital subscription line network. So it is proposed as an alternative to the normal wired connections using cable connections. That is wireless connection should be so strong and so robust that you should be replacing the cable networks in a city region. So this came up with I came up with very advanced technologies, very advanced standards to support higher data rate that is suitable for broadband connections and it comes with, with larger bandwidth, larger bandwidth means the data transfer will be at a faster rate and it supports mobility also. So when First, when it was proposed, mobility component was not there, but later versions mobility was also added as one of the feature, so that there should be worldwide interoper interoperability for microwave access. That is the acronym for WiMAX, worldwide interoperability for microwave access. So this come up in a advanced as an advanced stage uh, standard so what are the features that are supported by this wi-fi sorry wi-max wi-max works like a cellular network cellular towers wi-max also comes us with towers and these towers will be covering a large area and there can be direct connection between two towers so this is called line of sight communication it means direct tower to tower connection here we will use higher frequency about 66 gigahertz the data rate will be higher the transfer rate will be higher more robust signals more strong signals for tower to tower connection and from each tower it can support different devices so here frequency is 2 to 11 gigahertz. You can see that this is also the frequency where other devices like Wi-Fi also will work. So the working principle is similar to that of Wi-Fi. That is there will be a central point, central wireless access point that will be providing connections to a set of devices. And it works like a cellular structure. Different cells will be there covered by each tower. And the tower is also connected with each other. So that the wireless network can be expanded to the whole metropolitan area. So the range is high. Data is high. Bandwidth is high. Mobility also supported. And it has come up with advanced technologies like multiple towers. Advanced antenna systems. Yes. Then orthogonal frequency division multiple access. So this is an advancement over the frequency division multiple access we were using in the mobile phone communication. Orthogonal frequency uh, frequency division multiple access is the advancement over the F FDMA that will try to achieve more spectrum efficiency, more efficient use of spectrum. We can see about this technology when we are discussing the cellular communication now you just remember that this is an advancement technology that is trying to use the spectrum more efficiently and it uses a fully connection based protocol what does it mean it works based on a scheduling algorithm that means the algorithm determines the connection. Algorithm determines the data rate to be transmitted. For example, if you are allotting the spectrum equally between the different devices connected in the network, that would be an efficient allocation of the carriers, efficient allocation of the spectrum. But if you are able to sense how much this device is using the network using the bandwidth so here this user may, will be having higher usage rate and based on his use the algorithm will schedule such that this 
device will get more of the uh, data bit allotted here. So, if a device is using for lesser time and uh, lesser data rate, the algorithm can schedule like that. So, this is also advancement or other systems that uh, tries to achieve more efficient connections. But what happened to its adaptation? So, it uh, came as a replacement of cable and DSL connection. Was it able to achieve this aim? When we see how the WiMAX got adopted by the different service providers, its adaptation was rather slow. Even though it come up with advanced technologies, many people were hesitant to adapt this technology. What could be the reason? So there is one term called backward interoperability in the technologies whether it is any technology there should be a backward interoperability because there will be advancement in from one standard to another standard if the existing user is not able to adapt to the higher standard using the existing setup it will be difficult for them to adapt to the next standard for example a cellular network provider is providing 3G and the 4G standards has come. If this 4G standards are not supporting the 3G standards and 3G devices, if the service provider wants, wants to upgrade to the 4G system, he has to completely replace the setup, right? So it will not be cost effective from the point of the service provider to go for 4G. Rather, if 4G standards are giving backward interoperability, this user can slowly migrate to the 4G spectrum within his available infrastructure. So that is what happened here. It did not provide any backward interoperability. So that the uh, network providers who want to switch to the system, they had to install new infrastructure. So they were rather hesitant to adopt. And what happened? They, they created a time delay. They created a resistance in adaptation. That time further advancement, advancements like 3G LTE has come up. LTE advanced has come up. That means within using the cellular network itself, we were able to achieve broadband speed broadband connection speed so the operators instead of going for the wi-fi wi-max setup they rather adopted the 3g lte standards to provide the network connectivity in the region so the wi-max was not so successful in getting popularity like other wireless connection even though it came up with very advanced technology and very advanced standards so we saw that LT advanced standard standard was a contender to the WiMAX technologies. What is LT advanced? LT advanced is a cellular networking technology, cellular technology, which comes between three, third generation and fourth generation. So that is a transition technology between 3G and 4G. So first came the LTE, this long term evolution standard, then came LTE advanced advancement over the LTE. So usually this LTE standards are marketed as 4G LTE. It is not exactly the 4G standard but it is uh, offering higher data rate and higher faster connectivity than 3G. So it is marketed as a different name as LTE. And this LTE also uses the advanced technology similar to WiMAX like orthogonal frequency division multiple access and advanced antenna technologies like multiple input multiple output MIMO this technology we can see later so that the number of carriers used also increased and the connection rate also increased that is it is able to achieve broadband signal rate over the mobile phones earlier broadband was possible only through the cable connection now that broadband signal rate is possible even using the cellular network also that is 50 mbps and advancements see that up to 300 mbps also possible within the cellular network so this is the most adapted technology for providing network connections so using the cellular networks we can expand the wireless area 
connections. So it can be used in the metropolitan area connection and also the local area network for assessing different wireless devices. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.